This is the fourth summer in the last five that we have had very little rain and excessive heat in this part of Kent where we live. We had just one inch in March, half an inch in April, two inches in May, which probably saved our hay crop, but less than an inch in June and only an eighth of an inch in July. The land is parched and it puts enormous pressure on our grazing and on many of the grasses and clovers that we rely on to perform in our system. Yet we are lucky and still have grass ahead of us. Although now in July it is stalky, dry and poor, our native Hereford cattle and sheep are doing okay but not brilliantly on it. This video aims to show you how it works. By regularly moving the stock and resting the fields by using electric fencing back and front, it is undoubtedly helping to keep the grass growing in front of them and we hope that once it starts to rain again, the residue and the rest will help it to spring back all the more quickly. You can see here in this video how we've moved them out of one paddock, leaving probably about a third of the bulk to protect the soil and the, the, the land from excessive heat. They're moving into lovely lush pastures, very diverse, and it's still only um, mid-June, so they're in a good place at the moment and the cows look blooming. We moved into the field on the 7th of June and making one to, day, to two day moves, moved down one side, up the other, and then left the field on the 1st of July. Despite no rain since the cattle came out, you can see how today, on the 20th of July, the rested paddocks are coming back, and in better times the sections grazed first will soon be ready for us to go back in for another bite. 